with Tristan saying all of that, I'll talk about some of the law of attraction from my perspective. Um, obviously, you can see straight away that Tristan's, Tristan's had quite a difficult life in some respects, right? And, um, and one of the emotions that I felt a lot was uh, as it, once I came to a memory of all of these different truths that I could now remember, one of the first emotions that I had was a terrible feeling of guilt about how I brought up my son. And so particularly how much I use corporal punishment as a way of controlling their behaviour, uh, which is a big, big issue that Tristan uh, had to work through and so has Kate. I still feel that to, to get ahead of life I have to suffer. Yeah. So, um, like, so I had to work through lots of feelings of guilt and shame, the law of compensation type emotions that you work through as a parent. And even events like um, when my boys phoned me to talk about their... Uh, when they talk, told me that they couldn't speak to me again. And I went through some pretty big emotions there. And I, looking back on it now, I can see what all the law of attraction was for myself. But um, I, can also, I also did see at the time why they wanted to not contact me and spend any time with me anymore. There, there was just so much pressure on them that, uh, about me. Uh, because I left a religion that if you leave the religion, basically you're condemned to death, basically, by the religion. And you're treated as if, in fact, they encourage you to encourage people in the, in the um, religion to treat you as if you've died. And so you, you would like walk along the street and all the people who used to be your friends would just walk straight past you and, and look at you, but not, not acknowledge you. And, and so uh, that many would walk along, you know, they'd see you and go across the other side of the road and walk past you and things like that. And my, my own family finished up doing that with me as well. This all was all happening at the same time. And then, and then of course, uh, my boys started getting lots and lots of pressure to not speak with me and not communicate with me. And, you know, I can see now that, it, in fact, that I had to get into this state where... With, ...with my own emotions. And, uh, and so that was all my law of attraction. So it, it even saddens me now when I hear Tristan say you know, that he still feels guilt about his decision to not speak with me when, when I see it quite strongly as my own law of attraction. Um, so there's a lot of, there was a lot of events that occurred all the way through uh, my own processing that I had to work my way through in terms of how I treated my boys, the kinds of things that I did with them. <coughs> the things that have hurt even more are not so much the corporal punishment issues but the issues where it's a lot more insidious damage to my sons. And one of those pieces of insidious damage was when I taught my boys that you would always be consideratory to a woman. So no matter what the woman does, and no matter what the woman says, and no matter how she treats you, you need to continue to be consideratory to them. And I've only recently, about a year and a half ago, probably worked through the core of those emotions. And what I'm noticing now is each time I work through a core emotion, Tristan, within a few days, even if he's on the opposite side of the world, works through that emotion. And because, of, and what I found is that, like that core emotion for me took, has taken me nearly one year, but with Tristan it takes him only a few months or less so to deal with it than it takes me. And so what I'm noticing is the more I release within myself, the easier it is on Tristan in his in his dealing with and releasing process. And the same goes with my other son, Caleb, who's not consciously choosing to, at the moment, to actually release emotion. He is still releasing emotion as I'm dealing with emotion. And so that's uh, an effect that's happening automatically. So there's been lots of guilt, there's lots of shame as a father to work my way through. So I can relate to many of you who feel like ashamed of yourselves as parents and the things that you've done to your children to control them or, or to keep them what you thought was bringing them up appropriately. And there were also many emotions that I taught them through my own behaviour. And I think they are, from, from my perspective, they've been the most damaging to my child, to my sons. You're giving my sons to process them. Yeah. 
Because it, you know, it's quite obvious that when you smack a child, the child feels bad about that and the child feels it's wrong, right? Quite different to have this insidious emotion of always wanting to please a woman and you don't really know why inside of yourself. And so I've had a lot of emotions to work through about the kind of damage I've done to my boys in uh, causing them to act certain ways that they were unconscious of at the time. And so like Tristan's had a number of girlfriends which, uh, and so quite a number of them have treated him in quite unloving ways, but he's felt like he's deserved that because of my own uh, example. And so I've had to work through a lot of those kind of emotions. And what the beautiful thing though is between us is that as I work through an emotion, he shortly after works through the emotion in a lot shorter time frame. And, and it also brings us a lot closer together. So now, we, we, uh, we're like brothers. We're actual friends instead of being fearful. I had so much fear of, of being around Dad that I, I used to act like a child, like a, I'd start talking baby talk around him and not really understand why. Yeah. So now we've, we've got this relationship that's more like brothers and uh, like I feel he's my brother, not my son. And, uh, and Tristan feels like I'm his brother. And so we uh, do things together and enjoy each other's company just like brothers would. And, uh, and also, because we're both passionate about dealing with emotions now, um, Tristan and myself both find it quite easy to work through emotions now. So it's really, that's really a beautiful blessing that's come from all the changes that we've had to work through. Really good. So there's been, there's been a lot of difficulties and and during the time that I was uh, dealing with a lot of my own emotions, um, obviously when you as a parent deal with your emotions, then your children are not receiving the projection. It's when you hold on to the emotion, your, children's receive, your children are receiving the projection. And so the time that I first started dealing with my emotions was 11 or 12 years ago. And from that time on, uh, it was easier on the boys to actually make their own choices. But five or six years ago, when I really firmly started dealing with my own emotions, there were huge changes in the boys in terms of what they felt they could do, how they felt they could live their lives, and so how we felt we could express ourselves. Yeah. And how we could express ourselves. Yeah. So just my dealing with those emotions and owning everything caused some major changes within my sons without them even realising what was going on at the time.